I'm Brian with Unfiltered Gamer, and we're taking a look at Trekking the World from Underdog Games. This 2-5 to five player game takes approximately 30 to 60 minutes to play, and is around a 2 out of 5 for complexity. In Trekking the World, you're competing against other world travelers to visit some of the world's most well-known and exotic locations. Whether by land, sea, or air, race across the globe visiting destinations and collecting souvenirs to earn the title of most experienced traveler. All in the name of family fun, you'll chart a course of efficiency as players race around the globe in this light-hearted, sightseeing adventure. You'll be gathering cards that serve a multi-purpose, moving from spot to spot around a map of the world, meeting set requirements, benefiting from community bonuses, and staking your claim to game-ending goals. Full of beautiful artwork and life, trekking the world is essential fare in the new world of family-style board games. Trek cards are the primary tool players will use in their game pursuit. These trek cards have a numerical value and symbol and color. To begin a turn, players will move around the board by spending available trek cards from their hand. The player will be able to move across the board from city to city the number of spaces equal to the value of cards played. There are options to fly across the board by plane, but your primary means of movement will be through playing the cards. The second option you have on a turn is to choose one of the three following actions. Draw two, take a tour, or journey. Each game of Trekking the World features ongoing destination goals called tours and in-game goals featuring souvenirs collected. On your turn, four community destination cards will be available. These are locations you can visit across the globe, earning points if you have the necessary set of Trek cards in your hand. Achieving these destination cards requires planning and hand management since you can only meet that card's requirement when you land on the city featured on the card with the necessary Trek cards in hand. When a player meets that goal or takes a tour, they remove the destination card and a new card is drawn. Additionally, players can take a journey. Two journey cards are drawn and are available to all players each game. These cards feature valuable benefits to help players move more swiftly across the board or break certain rules by spending two Trek cards on their turn. As players journey across the board, colored cubes will be available on each location. If you're the first player to land on a location, you're entitled to the cube and you place it in your personal suitcase. These cubes, which represent different types of souvenirs gathered throughout your travels, serve multiple purposes. Each game has four available end-game souvenir goals that award points to players that meet certain souvenir requirements. Additionally, players will collect souvenirs in their suitcase, earning even more points for complete souvenir color sets at the end of the game. The last player to draw the final souvenir in a specific geographical region will earn a bonus. The game ends when a player has either taken their fifth destination card or when five of the six region bonuses have been claimed. Trekking the World really shines in its presentation. The artwork is vibrant and colorful and the components are all made of quality material. The destination cards all feature beautiful illustrations of each location. You'll also find interesting educational tidbits about each place. The game also provides a fantastic storage solution for all the components helping keep setup and teardown time to a minimum. The rulebook is very clear with tons of illustrations for reference, making this one a breeze to learn. The game's presentation is a real winner. You're immediately drawn into the beautiful artwork and vibrant feel. It all creates an immersive experience that elevates the game where others with similar mechanics may have fallen short. The gameplay is smooth and easy to grasp, while still providing some fun and challenging goals. This really works well as a game for the whole family. While you can be at the mercy of players prone to extensive analysis, the game plays quickly and doesn't overstay its welcome. This is a lighter weight game and some might be turned off to its less intensive Euro fare. Just be aware of what you're getting into. Trekking the World is perfect for someone looking for a family weight game, hoping to wade a little deeper into the board game hobby, or those looking for a more casual gameplay, still with a few interesting decisions. I also believe this is something to appease fans who take pleasure in a game's aesthetics. Tracking the world has a beautiful appearance that will draw you right in. 
While the artwork is great, the best thing about this game is the dual purpose Trek cards. Being forced to choose between playing a card for movement or saving that card in pursuit of an evasive card set to take a tour is an interesting combination that often leaves you second guessing yourself. I'm a huge fan of Trekking the World. I love the presentation and the feel of the game, but I also love where it sits in the gaming world. This is the perfect gateway game to draw casual players in and lead them to more challenging pursuits. Even if it doesn't lead into a lifelong love of board games, Trekking the World is one that families can come back to and enjoy again and again. It successfully immerses you in the romantic world of travel and personal adventure as you vicariously live these exotic locations through the game's destination cards. Trekking the World works on so many levels and will appeal to almost anyone.